Hey guys, what's up? Warping MTG here, and this is some gameplay of a modern deck that is built around the crappy old mechanic of Soul Shift. And when we get the elephant out of the room, I know that I shouldn't be playing a modern deck made of Soul Shift, but I am. I'm kidding. The elephant in the room is probably that I haven't posted a video in two months. But, I'm back. And here is one of my videos. He's going to choose to play. This is modern once again. Um, and I'm in college. I've adjusted to the college life. Took a long ass time. And I've been more lazy than anything. I'm going to take a mulligan here. And this hand looks fantastic. And now I'm ready to get back into magic. I've been away from it for just a little bit. My deck is no longer standard, but I will be on a mission, on a journey, to rebuild my standard deck very soon. So it's this guy's turn. He's going to throw down a Temple Garden, tap it, pay the two life, throw down Noble Hierarch, a very good card, and I will start to play. Uh, looks like he... Uh, means business with this very good like $30 card. I have a bunch of crappy basic lands and Kodama's reach to work with however. Maybe if we can get up to three mana somehow maybe I could destroy that thing. But I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. Uh, we'll throw down a forest and pass turn. Not take any damage but since he's at 18 life we're at 20 I'm ahead. So this deck is automatically better than any deck he's playing. He's playing Naya right here. Um, he's going to put that in tapped. He's going to exalted. Trigger attack for one and pass the turn. He's ramping up very nicely. This could be birthing pod, but maybe not. I've been away from the modern scene forever. I've been away from the modern scene forever. And I will play Verdant Catacombs and pass turn. This could just be a Naya aggro build. A Naya Zoo, also very popular. Has been popular forever. And I'm sure it still is. This looks like uh, Naya Zoo very much. He's going to attack with three of his lands and his Birds of Paradise for a Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. Oh my god, we're in trouble. Um... Uh, he's going to throw down a Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. He's going to make a Noble Hierarch. And attack Noble with Noble Hierarch for two. I guess we don't have a choice. We could try to block Verdant Catacombs and on the stack sack it. But I don't think that'll uh, negate any of the damage that he has thrown at us. We're going to throw Verdant Catacombs down. I mean Overgrown Tomb. And pass turn. Uh, Strangaroo Geist is a thing, I suppose. If you control a swamp, destroy target non-black creature. So I can actually kill Kiki Jiki before he untaps. He also has Splice into Arcane. Exile four cards from your graveyard. Wow. This card really sucks. Uh, throw down a swamp, and I just want to take out his geeky jeeky. He's uh, tapped out, and all that good stuff. We're just gonna take him out right here. We don't want to mess with that guy. We don't want to let him untap. Um, could I have waited until he untapped and maybe used his ability on something? Maybe I could have, but I don't think that would have been the wise gameplay choice. Maybe he probably has another geeky jeeky mirror breaker in hand or something stupid like that. Attack with Noble Hierarch, ping for one. Yep, very, very standard, very nice. He's taking a lot of damage from his lands, and by a lot of damage, I mean uh, three less damage than we have. Um, and I actually haven't taken that much damage from my lands, I've only taken one. And he has taken twice as much damage from his lands as we have from ours. So, without further ado, I'm going to read what Kodama's Reach does, because I just threw this deck together. Um, it doesn't really give us any immediate mana. That's always something to note. 
and everything in my hand cost uh, three. But uh, have no fear. We're gonna play Strangle Root, guys. Uh, I just want to keep him up as a blocker because uh, this scary Elder of the Pine, Elder Pine of Jukai. I could get to like get land whenever I play Spirit and Arcane spells, and although that really won't help us win, and we're probably gonna lose, it's a funny effect. And the fact that he was relying so heavily on the Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker makes me laugh. Uh, he's gonna play Archangel of Thun. I don't know what that does because my cockatrice is outdated to hell. Uh, but it looks like a vanilla for. Th it's a three four vanilla. Uh, I'm kidding, of course. Man, why didn't I play this Overgrown Tomb last turn? I'm going to look up what Archangel of Thun does real quick. Oh my god, it is a 3-4 flying lifelink. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one, plus one on each creature you control. So we're in some deep doo-doo here. When this creature dies, you may return target spirit card with two watches from the grave to your hand. Wow. I really have nothing against this. Uh but we're gonna try to we're gonna try to play things, you know? I'm gonna take two from this overgrown tomb because I'm an idiot. Uh we're gonna play this man right here. I wanna play Elder uh, of the Pines Jukai. And when I was playing earlier, I was playing Cockatrice. I was playing this deck earlier, and someone was making fun of me as a player for playing this troll ass deck. <coughs> he said, Haha, you're playing um, Golgari Spirits in Modern. And it was funny because he was playing a try hard tier 1 deck. And I came very close to winning. Uh, when the most expensive card in this deck is probably like $3 or something. But wow. So he's like just playing four colors, I guess. It, um, Harmonic Sliver. Is this a thing now? Whenever this permanent is a battle with a short target artifact or enchantment. Well, that's cute. But I will, looks like, be taking th three or whenever it attacks, it gets a plus one plus one. Um, no. So I will just be taking three. Not looking good for our hero, guys. But I feel like this commentary was just really good. So I would definitely upload this video. We did draw Footsteps of the Gorio. Too bad uh, it doesn't do shit in this case. So... We're stuck against a rock in a hard place here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to attack with Strangle Root Geist because I feel like it. When I'm scared, I like to attack. He's going to take the life. It looks like we're ahead. I'm going to make sure we get even more ahead by um, playing Kodama's Reach. I'm passing turn. Very good gameplay on my part. And maybe I could have played this forest. Wow. Kodama's Reach is a really good card. But it doesn't stop the fact that we're taking four to the face by this apparently vanilla creature when really he has flying lifelink and gives all of his other creatures plus one plus one. Um, when Archangel of Thun came out, I had no idea that it would be able to hold such value for so long. That would never have been on my predictions list because it is just... It's significantly worse than Banslayer Angel. 
Um, I mean, maybe that's opinion, but $20 price tag. I don't know, man. We're going to alpha strike here because um, as a scare tactic, maybe he's going to think I have, a, I have a bunch of mana open. Maybe he's going to think I flash down a Grave Titan or something. He's in a block with Harmonix, however. Um, I guess he's going to have to discard a card. Discard. At least we get, we like, ah, now he's playing Hellbent. See what we've done? We're so good. He's taking the damage. That was my plan all along for him to take the damage. Um... I'm going to play Elder Pine of Jukai. Look at my graveyard and see I can't do anything past turn because this turn is taking extremely long. And I hope you guys enjoy my commentary. But uh, it looks like we're going to be dying here very, very soon. Uh, block there. And then die. Good game. Well played. Warpig MTG here. Losing casually at Modern. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be posting videos at much more regular intervals now. Hopefully at least once a week. But I can assure you that once a week would not make me happy. Therefore, I will try to do much more than once a week. Um... But yeah, I'm back. I, I was never going to completely leave this channel. That was never in my in my future. It was never my intention to say, okay, I built up this channel from scratch for the last two years. I've gotten sponsors, gotten fans, met awesome people, had a great time with Magic the Gathering, had a great time meeting the community, trading with people, doing giveaways, interacting with the community. It was never my intention to then say, let me just throw this away when I get to college and never look back. Um, in the future, maybe I will have long periods of leaving as well, uh, just naturally. But I will hope that this channel will continue to prosper and I will definitely be adding on content regularly. So. Thank you to all my fans. I don't expect this video to get a lot of views because I've been gone for two months. People have probably either unsubscribed or I uh, just stopped caring about Warpig MTG. But I'm back, baby, and magic looks awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Pretty, uh, you know, decent commentary. And I will see you guys next time.